Hello. My name is Corbin from Afghanistan. It's an Afghanistan accent. It is? If you don't listen to it, yeah. So in other words, as long as you don't listen to a real Afghanistani accent, that one's spot on. Yeah, if you, yeah. If you like our deaf, that accent is perfect. You should put that, like, when you go in and you audition for something and they say, can you do this particular accent? You say, I, I'm most effective with deaf audiences. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid direct It's I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. Not true. Put a shrimp on the valve, I. Spot on British accent right there. What are there accents that if you talk to somebody who is from that place and they speak in that accent, are there any that when you're talking to them you have to force yourself to not slip into it because it's so contagious to you? Every single accent. Come on. No. Not every one. Every accent. No, there's mm -hmm. gotta be one more than other. Mm -hmm. Seriously. Mm -hmm. British, Irish, Scottish. French. Yeah, because I'm <laughs> Hello, so it, I it, like to talk. So it would be <laughs> exactly the same for every single accent. Yeah, it's I hard for me not to uh, to mimic people. <laughs> uh, me too, but there are some that are far more difficult for me to withhold myself from. Like example, I've been to Australia and Papua New Guinea. Everybody there has the kind of Australian accent. It's not that hard for me to maintain and not slip in. But if somebody's Scottish, I have to. I, I have to, every moment of the conversation, I have to prevent myself from slipping into it. Wow, racist. Uh, <laughs> today we got a video. <laughs> this is called Idiot. Parari Music, Castless Collective, uh, Parajnith. Read this. Knowing that you guys love party music, hope you guys will like it. Paranji the rector of Sarpata Parambari, cool. has uh, danced for a bit in a festival where Para music was celebrated. And if we're mispronouncing that, please forgive us. This video shows the beautiful and amazing music of Para drums and dance. Rinjath has organized a musical festival in Tamil Nadu for all the folk music from rural and urban areas of Tamil Nadu. And, his, and this has got great reception starting this year. This festival will be annually celebrated in the month of December. All the types of music which are considered as taboo or oppressed, cast music, and generally down is celebrated now on the same stage where the elite musics are performed. That's wonderful. Hope one day you guys get to attend the festival in Chennai. I'd love to. Would love to. That's so awesome. Yeah, it's kind of like a video of the festival itself. Um, so it's, That's cool. That's a great, that's a great concept for a, for a festival, I feel. It absolutely is. Here we go.
later. Yeah. It's like a big celebration of like that video that we saw of the people like like that would play for like a funeral. Yeah. That people would think is taboo for some reason. Right, right, right. And now it's like celebrated as in a festival.
back, he's back. He's down in the corner. He's picked up a notch. He's like the teacher or the goofy yeah. or something like that. concept of the of the celebrating stuff that uh, uh, for a long time had been taboo which i get it it's part it was part of like the old indian culture but like it's still like they're they're amazing why is that yeah, why is that weird <laughs> why is it like yeah it's something that i still can't understand but i love the idea of celebrating stuff that for a long time was oppressed which is often you know here in america why we have black history month we have yes. lgbtq month and why a lot of idiots also think why is there a white history month because you haven't been oppressed, dipshit. Because what <laughs> history has been about white, <laughs> moron. All history has been white history. It's also one of the reasons why I've often found it, I mean, I get it, because obviously we kind of carry over from the British, but why we put presidents on our money. Cause yeah. Because, like, they're higher, like, they deserve to be on money. Like, I like the idea of, like, obviously, I think the direction we're going. Yeah, yeah we're, we're changing, changing it. it. It's People changing. that helped our history, like, that were actually oppressed and, like, civil rights heroes. Or... I mean, I understand... People like I, that. I, I understand the founding fathers. I mean, I, yeah. I understand that as They're far as like kings or queens. I don't no, I, them on our stuff, I on honestly, our yeah, I, I promise you, Washington would not have approved of his face being on any of our money. He would have really not liked that. Like I said, I understand because obviously this carryover. Obviously, the British, yeah, they have their, their monarchs. They got money. Their faces on everything. <laughs> yeah, you know, no all that kind of stuff. But it's still, Washington would not have been a fan of that. I was like. They're not kings. Yeah. They're supposed to have our, our, our democracy specifically set up to be different, but we're still putting them on our money. <laughs> like, I just, it's. I know a former sense. president who'd want their face on our money. Uh, I don't know, I call him a president. Uh, but, anyways, that's not what this is about. This is great. I this love the idea really of celebrating stuff that needs to be celebrated. I agree. And, and I love and watching human stuff. beings. Yeah cultural things you've not been exposed to that's that's the kind of thing that if i was there i would just be loved and just be standing off to the side and i'd do exactly what i was doing sitting here just listening watching seeing the smiling faces yeah. who's communicating with who yeah, yeah that's that was great really nice let us know more videos like this and if you've ever been to the festival yeah